Hi, so we're going to do 31 and 32, which is t-test because I do not have a population standard deviation. So this question asks, the following are the weights of five boxes of cookies, each of wheat, which is labeled as containing 16 ounces. Assume the population of the weights is normally distributed. So I have five values. A quality and control inspector wants to know whether the mean weight is actually less than 16 ounces. I'm going to have my null hypothesis and my alternative. And remember, where this says less than, so let, me, let me highlight this, less than 16 ounces. That's important to me because that is going to be my alternative hypothesis. Because remember, your alternative can only have less than, greater than, or equal to. So that's what I'm doing here. So I put it here in my alternative that the mean is less than 16 ounces. So that makes my null that the mean is greater than or equal to 16 ounces. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to put my data in salt and it's going to solve it for me. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go make an Excel file. So I put cookie weights as my title and then I just put my values in there. And when I save as, you need to save this as a CSV file or SALT will not read it. So it's got to be a CSV file. So I hit save. Yeah, I want to replace it. So I have my file. So then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to SALT. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo this. Let's go back here. Okay, I'm going to go to data set. Let me go, uh, yeah, yeah, is that going to do it? Yeah, let me do this. Let me go out of salt right fast so you can see what I'm doing. So I have a window open with salt, so I'm going to do use salt. I'm going to go to data set. I'm going to click upload your data, and I'm going to do upload CSV file. So I have this on my desktop. I'm going to go find it. I'm going to click cookie weights, and then I'm going to hit select. Okay, so there's my data. So then what I can go is go to inferential statistics. I'm going to do a one sample T. I'm going to use cookie weights and it gives me my sample mean, my stamp, sample standard deviation and my sample size. And I believe my hypothesized mean is 16 and it's less than. And where did I get that? Again, if I make this smaller, move this over, you can see this right here corresponds to here, my alternative hypothesis. Okay, so there's my hypothesis. Turn, oh, excuse me, my alternative hypothesis is 16 is less than, okay? So then I'm going to do generate results, and I'm going to copy this and put it in my form so I can use it, okay? So I'm going to do new, okay, do this here, edit, copy, and the stuff we're using may only, oh, it does only use the equal. I always do the greater than, but you don't have to. That's just a personal preference for me of how I was trained. So Another way to write this correctly is that the mean equals 16 ounces. You can see it different ways. Different. There's different trains of thought for that one. Okay, so it's basically the same thing. All right, so what is my p-value? If I look here, there's my p-value, which is 0 0.040955, and it wants four decimal places. So if I round up, and I'm going to put this here, the answer Oops, is 0 0.0410. Okay, so there's my answer. So I've got my p-value, but I'm not done because I've got to answer number 32, okay? So let me highlight that. So it wants to know, and the last question, a quality control inspector wanted to know whether the mean weight of the box of cookies is actually less than 16 ounces. All right, so let's see this, okay? So remember, I'm going to copy these down. Copy here. Okay. okay. And my level of significance was here. I'm just getting everything I need. And my p-value was 0 0.0410. And I got that from right up there. All right. So I need to compare my p-value to my level of significance. Okay, so this is going to be 0 0.0410, 
is less than 0 0.05. And how am I going to compare that? Remember, you go her, her, look at this first zero, they're equal, but here's your four and here's your five. The four is less than the five. So that means, remember, if your p-value is less than your level of significance, you reject your null hypothesis, okay? So if I reject my null hypothesis, I'm going to go up here and say that, I'm going to put it in this, I am rejecting this claim, okay? So does it that actually means I am supporting this claim, which is good because that means that the cookies are less than 16 ounces. So there is evidence to con conclude that the mean weight is actually less than 16 ounces. And why? It's because uh, I'm going to do it in a different color. It's because of this right here and this right here. Okay, that's why I supported it, and that's how you do that.